What's good, everybody? I am coming back to you with my Street Fighter because uh, I got another tiny little mod, and as you can see, it's already open, so it's pretty much guaranteed. That's the new mod I'm replacing, as well as um, I found some nice CNC decals to fit on the rim of the wheel. I used to have it on my 899, and when the wheel spins, it looks nice. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna have a quick little... Oh, actually, let me just show you what the hell I'm talking about. So that, matte carbon, and red to match the Ducati red. I mean, it's kind of like brushed metal, so it's kind of like, eh, a little bit different, because it's not gloss. I mean, they, they should have technically kept it the same color, but... Yeah, anyway, at least the carbon matches up, wee-wise as well. And the way it'll be sitting is like that, so it kind of matches the direction of the weave on the top there. So that'll be going on, which will be le beautiful. So I'm going to show you how to install that. And these suckers. Now, I know, I ordered a set short, so essentially these will go into the back wheel and I'll do the front wheels some, some other time. But yeah, they will be like that. Because I don't want to cover up the the Martesini forged. Now a little pro tip on um, how I got my wheels a little shiny. Actually, you know what? No. I'll do a detailing video later because I've just detailed the bike and as you can see, shiny, pretty, all that stuff. Mm, there's still a little bit of water leaking out from underneath. I thought I got everything but nope. Cheeky little buggers. So, I am going to install. Now always grab your tools. I believe these are a 4mm and a 2.5. I think I need the 4 first. First step. Undo these. Make sure they don't fall into the tank. Because, yeah, you wouldn't want that. That would be a very expensive job to get those bloody bolts out of the tank again. Find a safe space to put your screws, so you don't get screwed. Whew, the fumes. Fuel fumes, gotta... They're strong. Cool, now that that's off, pop these screws out, because you're going to need to reuse them to put this back in, essentially the base plate. No longer need that. Now, what you need next is... Boy, that smell of fuel is just strong. A screwdriver, remove all those, because what you need to reuse is essentially this black surface there. Screwdriver, where are you? Does it fit? Oh, yes it does. <laughs> Alright, so let's get on to dismantling this. Just be careful of this rubber garment. Because since we need to use it, don't let it fall or hit the ground or anything. Yep, there you go. <laughs> My old exhaust. Yeah, let's see. If this works, that'll be freaking great. Oh yes, perfect. All right, cool, cool. So now we just need to get those ones off because this back bracket here will be reused. So power tool time, let's go. Ooh, lefty loosey, yes, righty tidy. <laughs> Cool, the girls all are out. Anywho, now that that's out, let's just dry up this bit a bit. That way there's no water leaking in, no gunk, junk and bunk in there. And let's transfer this over. Oof, I need to clean this out. Alright, so this gets reused. 
Now that those are out, we just need to dismantle this so that we can begin the installation process. So what you need to do now is a little bit tactical, a little bit temperamental. So don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> cool. You sit there. You need this piece. One goes in there. One goes in there. Actually, I'm going to do it one at a time because it'll likely fall out. What you need to do is grab that bit, slide this piece in. This is not permanent, this is just to hold it there. So that when you do fit it onto the tank, you don't lose those little bits, essentially. And like it gets misaligned and that kind of stuff. So I screw that in a little. Screw that in a little because it'll have to come out again. So don't do it too deep, because it'll be like counterintuitive. And lucky laying ished. This bike time. Let's go. So easiest way to tell, this bit goes there. Oof. Greasy hands. Cool. Let's make sure they're in all in order. Because what comes next, just be very delicate with undoing it because you don't want those to move. That's where these buggers come in. I'm going to keep it in my pocket. The three screws. That sits in there. Oh. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's very, very straightforward. Then you grab these guys. So now these will go back in to their original spots. Coolie, 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 coolies. So now for the next part, tighten those down until they're toy like a toy guy. Alright, seems like my GoPro is overheating, so I'm going to make this quick. So, the weird little nuts that are down the bottom, use those screws that come with this to hold it in place. Then you unscrew it, then you put these nuts in for that to go through again. And then now, you put this, line it up with those nuts, and yeah, you just start screwing them down. Alright, almost done. Just need to tighten up these last bolts. Screws, bolts, screws and bolts. Well, that's how you install that. And also strip a bloody idiot screw. I'll fix that up later. And yeah, I mean, that's straightforward. So I'll just jump straight to when that's done with the decal. So yeah. Alrighty. Now that that is installed, that's how it looks. Looks pretty sexy. I'm a little bit annoyed because I accidentally stripped that little screw. And the alley screws that it comes with is very, very weak, so be careful. And then, quite happy with the way I managed to align it. Because of those Martesini stickers being kind of in uneven spots on both sides of the wheels. This was a little hard to try and match up the CNC racing parts, but I got it pretty close. As close as I can probably manage, essentially. Same goes for this side. This side's a little harder to see because of the chain, but again, yeah. Pretty lined up, because the must see you think is right there, and it is just off kilter just off so now what I'm gonna do is just hit it with some uh, heat and yeah we're done so that was a pretty pretty good modding session essentially but yeah I'm quite happy with the way this turned out well except for the screw that I messed up with and yeah Thanks for watching, 
It's been a very hot day. I've been sweating quite profusely whilst doing the install. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked. Hopefully it was insightful and helpful a little bit. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Now don't forget to like, subscribe and share it if it was in any shape or form any help. Peace.